Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is n power 3 over 2 equals t power 3 over 2, solving for n. Now, let's consider this identity. If you have a power n divided by m, this simply means a power n times 1 divided by m. So, applying this identity right here, this means we are going to have n power 3 times 1 divided by 2 and this equals 3 power 3 times 1 divided by 2 and we consider this other identity if you have a power n times m this is a power n to the power of m and also this is a power m to the power of n so applying that here you will simply have n power 1 over 2 times 3 and this equals 3 power 1 over 2 times 3 and this also means now if you have a power 1 over 2 this is just like writing square root of e so applying that here this is writing this as n power 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3, applying this, and this equals 3 power 1 over 2, raised to the power of 3. So let's make use of this. Now we simply have the square root of n raised to the power of 3, and this equals the square root of 3 raised to the power of 3. We just apply this right here. So we move this over here. And this will give us square root of n raised to the power of 3 minus square root of 3 raised to the power of 3 equals 0. So let's consider this identity. If you have a power 3 minus b power 3, this equals a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b power 2 and in this case our a is square root of n and b is square root of 3. So let's apply that right here. So we have root n minus root 3 times a squared root n power 2 plus a b root n times root 3 plus b squared root 3 power 2 and this equals 0. So from here we have root n minus root 3 times this cancel this I have n plus this times this I have root 3 n plus this cancel this f3 and this equals 0. So I can equate each of these to 0. I simply have root n minus root 3 equals 0. I also have n plus root 3 n plus 3 equals 0. So this means that we can take this over here solving for n of root n equals root 3 square root cancel square root and this simply means n equals 3 that is my n1 now let's solve this for this we move 3 over here and move n over here we have root 3 n equals negative 3 minus n to eliminate square root, I take the squares of the part of this equation. This cancel this. Of 3n equals negative 3 minus n times negative 3 minus n. So from here, of 3n equals negative 3 times negative 3. This is then negative 3 times negative n plus 3n negative n times negative 3. 
plus 3n negative n times negative n plus n squared. So you have 3n equals 9 plus 6n plus n squared. So from here, you move 3n over here. We have 0 equals 9 plus 6n plus n squared minus 3n. So from here we have 0 equals 9 plus 6n minus 3n. We have 3n plus n squared. So let's solve this quadratic equation. We rearrange that thing with n squared. We have n squared plus 3n plus 9 equals 0. So let's solve this using the formula method. We write the formula in respect to n. We have n equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2a. 1 is the coefficient of n squared, that is my a. This is my b, and this is my c. So from here, I have n equals negative b. Negative 3 plus or minus square root of, this is 3 power 2 minus 4 times 1 times 9, divided by 2 times 1. Negative 3 plus or minus square root of, this is 9 minus 4 times 1, 4, 4 times 9. We have 36 divided by 2. n equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of negative 27 divided by 2. So from here, negative 3 plus or minus this minus here, you have square root of negative 1 times square root of 37 divided by 2. So square root of negative 1 here is i. We have n equals negative 3 plus or minus i times square root of 27. This is 9 times 3 divided by 2. From here, we have n equals negative 3 plus or minus i times square root of 9. That is 3 root 3 divided by 2. We can factor out 3 over 2. We have n equals 3 over 2. Then negative of plus or minus i times root 3. So let's write out the two complex values for n. n2 equals 3 over 2 times negative 1 plus i root 3. And we also have n3 equals 3 over 2 of negative 1 minus i root 3. So these are the two complex values. And we also have one real value for n, which is 3. So the next thing we are going to do will be to insert this particular value for n. So let's check. Of n power 3 over 2. Because 3 power 3 over 2. Or n is 3. From what we have solved from the real value of n. Or n is 3. So let's substitute that here. We have 3 power 3 over 2 equals 3 power 3 over 2. So, what we have here is exactly what we have here. That is correct. If you want to take this further, remember a power n over m equals the m root of a power n, meaning this will be a square root of 3 power 3, and this is the same thing as square root of 3 power 3, and 3 power 3 is 27, so meaning square root of 27 square root of 27. So guys, this is it. Thank you and goodbye.